Okay, no worries. Why don't we jam some set it while we're waiting? Seems appropriate. We'll go, we'll go nothing left of me because we, we are going to be discussing the new single, Repent. Hell yeah. Mic check one more time. Mic check. Oh yeah, we're Mike golden, check. we're golden. Oh. Fellas, how we doing? Doing all right, man. Hell yeah. Good, where you? where are you? I'm doing great. Spaz is here. Failure at Proxy. We got ourselves a little party. Where where are oh, you at right now? Are you in uh, just rehearsal rehearsal space? If, if you remember from the uh, Element of War video, this is where we filmed it. It's our rehearsal space. Hell yeah. yeah. I do remember yeah. that video. Hell yeah. Harry, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Let's dive in right away to, to repent before we start laughing and telling old stories. Uh, okay. so tell me, tell me about why you guys wrote that track. Why it, it's such a important song that needed to be written, and I imagine it was a hard one to write based on the lyrical content. Can you can you go, dive down that that route for me? Uh, yeah, um, I think uh, well, quite a few of us in this in this band have experienced addiction either either firsthand or through family members. Um, and I think it's something that just doesn't get talked about enough at what the struggle is uh, within that with families, not just how it affects obviously the addict himself, but you know, families in general. Um, it's, it's obviously it's a dark topic and I get that. And you know, I get that a lot that I write kind of dark. Um, but uh, a couple of years ago, I basically decided that once, once I joined this band with, with these guys, I only wanted to write things that meant something to me and that, uh, that left an impression and that, that could change somebody. Uh, previous bands before that I was in, I wrote pretty shallow stuff and I, I just wasn't proud of any of that. And I just told myself once we got into something like this that I, I wanted to be proud of everything we put out there. I wanted it to be able to touch somebody and change lives. And and uh, I think that's something we really focus on. It's something I'm really proud of with this band. I mean, you should be proud. Said it's badass, dude. You, Jeff, that you guys have done well, man. You guys have done well. Now I, now I know Spaz has a lot to say, so I'm going to let him take over for a minute. Uh, you know, it's up, funny. Uh, what's up, brother? How you doing? It, it's funny because Harry, uh, his profession, he, he handles some badass shit. And uh, I, I just had to say there was a night that we were all at a show and this big yoke, he wouldn't even yoke. He was just drunk and belligerent. And he's like, like fucking with Harry. And I'm like, no, nah, dude, I got this. <laughs> and Harry, Harry can totally handle his own, but I'm like trying to be all big badass brother and shit. Now these guys are the coolest that um, we go. I even forgot how we met, but we go back, and I know there was a connection between Harry and our former singer Rob. But Harry, would you please explain what "set it" means? Uh, sure. Um, "Set it" actually is tides spelled backwards. Um, and it actually represents the ups and downs in life, just like a tide. Coming Harry, in Harry, hold on one second. Somebody's phone is buzzing yeah. like nonstop. And we can hear the buzzing. Just for a heads up. I don't know who it is, but... Uh... Jeff. It's definitely Jeff. And you're guys, you guys are frozen. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. I think we lost them. I think we lost oh. them. While we stall. While we stall. Let's go back to that song we were about to play. I'm going to get a beer. I'll be right back. Yeah. We've lost set it temporarily. I'll let you guys know when it's fixed.
Like a black dress down to the Said it is frozen, but they're working on it. Thank you, murder. There we go. I see you. Sorry, guys. No, no worries. No worries. Uh, so, so the meaning, the meaning of said it. Yes. Uh, Tide spelled backwards, which represents the ups and downs in life. What, what was? I feel like I've asked you this before, but I don't recall your answer. What was uh, some almost band names, but they, but you just scribbled them out at the last second and then said it was the winner. <laughs> Come on, Jacob. Jacob. You already know which one was the first one. Drag it. No, I remember, I blocked that out of my memory. Uh, when I first had this band going and Jacob first showed up, uh, it was Vendetta. And he literally, uh, the next day, was like, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, uh, funny. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, so from that point on, uh, that had changed. So, what, what do you, I mean, obviously the new single's out. Um, we never got a music video for Blue forever waiting for that but uh what do you guys have lined up the rest of the year that we can plug we can promote uh, shows maybe one more single before the year's over or just early talks of 2024 what what are you allowed to tell us uh we're playing a show august 19th actually with baylor by proxy in a oh, yeah. series at five eye brew um so we're really excited about that one there's a ton of ton of great local bands on there i mean it's it's an absolutely stacked bill it's it's gonna be a really great show um, we all are obviously wanting to write. We've, we've gone through, you know, every time we get a drummer or something, we yeah. get them for about a year. They learn the set. We start playing shows. It, it works out. And then something happens where they leave and we have to start all over again. So, uh, we just got a new drummer. His name is Josh. Uh, and he's just an animal. He's in the chat. He's in the chat. He's, and, and he's an animal. Oh, yeah. How'd you find um, Josh? You know, it's, we actually played at boardwalk in Orangeville and, um, his old band among thieves was playing with us. And uh, I remember standing next to Jacob watching them play. And I don't think I took my eyes off him. And I probably hit Jacob two or three times and just kept saying what a badass that guy was. Um, and the moment that, uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Josh, I was totally fanboy. Um, the moment I found out that his, his band was no longer really playing, uh, our other drummer was, you know, didn't work out. He had to step away and, he was one of the first names that popped in our head that we had to at least see. Um, and he's, I mean, he just above and beyond anything we could have asked for. He's so good. So good. He made us so much better. Um, we can't thank him enough to be in here. So. Yeah. It's funny. There, there's a comment about that BG. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, I, I remember one night, Harry, Hey, do you have Josh's number? And I'm like, Oh shit. He's going to be their drummer. He's going to be their drummer. Cause he is so good. I mean, the dude tab, he, writes the tabs for his drum parts and he shows up and he puts his tab so he obviously he can read and write sheet music the dude is like perfection i mean he's just it's it's hard to it's hard to describe c and josh and we're friends but c and josh with my friends obviously and said it it's just it's it's inspiring just seeing how hard they go it's like if you don't if you if you never watch them live, you don't really understand the feeling and the emotion behind the music that Harry and the boys put together. It's it's incredible. With 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 all the drummers quitting, I'm sure at some point you've tossed around the maybe we should just call it a day, boys. But 100%, I'm I'm 100%. I'm so proud of you guys for powering through and yeah, 100%. Uh, just just you know keep keep giving us amazing music and 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 trekking on and playing shows my question is when the f are you coming to southern california so i can see you live you know, working hard yeah buddy. just working, working hard. hard on that man just working hard on that if it's a, if, if it's a matter of playing like getting the gig somewhere just let me know and i'll i'll call up some people and make sure you got a couple while you're down here but please oh, got, please please down there that want to see us 
Yeah, please, please come. I know me and Lizzie alone would bring a ton of people out, but uh, because you guys are That's amazing. Awesome. I mean, we could always crowbar ourselves in there too, and let's just take my RV and let's just go. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of that, before I went live today, Spaz told me a little secret, Harry. He said oh, yeah. that you yeah. may have recorded something many years to. ago. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, no, he, we recorded it, but yeah. he's talking about uh, Help Me Forget. Yes. I, I Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm catching on here. <laughs> what what uh, is, What is this song? Is this basically a Fail by Proxy feature and set it collab that we need to have? So this song was, uh, this is when, when Failure by Proxy hadn't had a singer at the time. And uh, he had reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to put vocals onto a, a song that didn't have lyrics yet. Um, and I had started working on it a little bit and probably, I don't know, two or three weeks into me kind of working on it. Obviously with work and stuff, I have a hard time doing all kinds of stuff. They actually picked Rob up. And um, I immediately just stopped working on that song because Rob, I, I can't say enough good things about Rob when it came to uh, vocal and, and music ability. Uh, once Rob joined the band, there was there was no need for me to keep working on that song. Basically, is what I'm saying. And um, I wanted Rob to have any any ideas at all that that Failure by Proxy had had because there's so much I know that he was going to do, do with it. So uh, they sent me a little clip of Rob doing something to it. And it was really 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 cool, and um, just left it at that. And uh, he recently just reached out and asked if I would. Uh, be willing to, to sing it because there's lyrics to it already and I, I got to hear it the other day and uh I'm uh, I'm gonna probably take a swing at it here, but we'll see what happens with it. Was it he's was it gonna, was he's it, not gonna probably he's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna do it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a swing at it here. So for sure. I love it. I love it. Uh uh Jeff, how have you been, dude? I've been good, man. Just been busy. What uh, what have you been know, up to? to We've been trying to hold this thing together, man. We just got Josh in, like uh, like Harry was saying. So uh, we are, you know, stepping our game up on our live stuff, stepping our game up on our writing. As you can tell from Repent, we put a lot of hard work into that one. Totally different from what we've started with, with nothing left of me. Um, we are constantly evolving, uh, still getting used to being a four-piece and trying to fill that out as, as, as much as we can with our sound. So that's that's where most of our focus has been. So when you say now a four piece, I know does that is that rearranging how you play the music live because there's one obviously one less guitar player, and, uh, and how tricky how tricky is that for for someone that maybe is watching that hates this band member, but you know they're worried about the same issue. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm just gonna be blunt. <laughs> I mean these guys are great musicians and uh, we kind of. We worked through them together. Uh, obviously, there were some songs that we weren't able to carry over, uh, like the one you mentioned, Blue. Uh, that's not one that uh, we will be doing as a four-piece, mainly because that was a song written about the brother of the member that's not in the band anymore. Gotcha. Uh, and and you know we love Nick, and uh, if he ever comes back, maybe we'll revis we'll revision uh, Blue. I think that would be cool. Is there so it's there's impossible to to restructure the song for playability regarding blue and just maybe call something different and, and change the the lyrics or that's just that's just not said it anymore for now uh we we all views, viewed that as nick's song that's yeah. that song is for nick. i got you yeah so if, if nick ever wants to write it and we want to record it that'd be his song to release that was uh that was a song for nick i got you have you ever asked have you ever asked him or thought about maybe uh because I, I I don't know the the relationship with Nick now, but have you ever thought of like if you're playing a show wherever and Nick just reaches out and's like, hey, I'm coming to the show, support you guys, whatever. Have you ever thought about asking them to hop up on stage for old times, or is it like again, band business is band business, or is it just it's just not the right time? Oh, no, I I don't think there's there's so there's no uh, there's no animosity here. We don't have any kind of bad relationship with Nick at That's all. Good. Um, the, the reason Nick had to step away was, uh, I tell you, it was something that I was actually really proud of him. He took on a lot of stuff uh, personal-wise with family and things that he had to take care of. And um, everything he did was for a really, really good reason. Mm -hmm. And um, and we supported him on whatever he needed to do at the time. Um, there's no bad blood towards Nick. I, I love Nick to death. Um, you know, Nick, very early on in my music career, believed in 
and being stuck by me when I can tell you so many people would have left. Um, so I owe a lot to him for the early years. I, 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 I owe a special place in my heart for Nick. Nothing that nothing changed with Nick. That's we'll cool. never say never. So, yeah. Now that, now that you guys are a four piece, I imagine the pre-show ritual is slightly different. Can we walk through your, your pre-show ritual? What do you do to get hyped up before you, before you walk out? Is there, is there anything that you guys do backstage? What? Tell them your pre-show ritual that you did for me. That I loved out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, Harry's got to get some vodka in him before we play. But, yes, he but, does. But, but just not too much, though, because it will, uh, you know, yeah. You cut me off that show, guys. You say well, vodka? Was, vodka? Yeah, vodka. We were having like sex on the beach or some crap. Man, it was just a. It, it was, was a, the it was the first band was playing. We were playing third yeah. out of four, and we Jacob looks at me. He's all he's fucking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was good. We we yeah, he yeah. killed it up there, yeah, man. man. He's a great front man, hundred percent. Took what? my drink from me. <laughs> What's written on the board behind you? Now we can't see it. It's 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 ineligible. But is there is there hidden band secrets written on the board behind you? No, they're lyrics. <laughs> lyrics to lyrics to upcoming upcoming material. Uh, no, actually, there were lyrics for "Fall for You" and "Repent." Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So that was what we had. we just got done writing them in bulk. Fall for you, we don't. I, I still don't remember the first line every time I play, so I have to read it. So, so, so when you when you write, Harry, do you you write it all on the board so everyone can see where your yeah. where your lyrics are going for for advice on how to say things a certain way, essentially. For sure. And uh, Jeff and Jacob do so many backups. I like to have all the lyrics up there because um, they do some really cool stuff when they just jump in randomly in spots that like I never even heard it. So I want all the lyrics up there because I don't I don't care where they jump in or anything. I just want to hear it. So it helps to have it up there while they're playing because uh, they, they come up with some really great backup stuff that I don't even hear in my head. So it's really cool. That's and there's some, brutal, there's some brutal screams that they, uh, oh, they, oh, they yeah. contribute to. Oh, 100%. 100%. Um, I, I did want to ask a question. Uh, for those people that don't know you, like obviously we do, um, who's, whose decision was it to do the four uh, Rob when, when we did that show after Rob had passed, whose decision or whose idea was it to do the, the shirts? So basically what happened is said it made these shirts honoring our brother, Rob, um, uh, whose idea, because I, you know, you flip up the guitar, there's four Rob and you know, that rocked us to our core. And that was like the most honorable That's thing cool. we thought. That's very cool. Done. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I mean, it was just, it was, I actually think it was more, uh, I remember Jeff bringing it up immediately. Um, and once he brought it up to us, we just thought that was obviously just a great idea. Um, right. And and Jeff finding the whole design was was it you that found yeah. the, the the mental health? The, the, no, you did the you did the the, the, the ribbon. The semicolon. Break down the wall, the right? I did the break down the wall. He did the rise from wall. He found the one of them found the. It was just like a whole thing. Once Jeff mentioned it, it was just like I think it was a way for us to all be able to say goodbye in our own way. You know what I mean? It just. Felt like the right thing. I'll to do. you guys see it. I yeah, got, he... I got uh, Rise tattooed on my wrist right here for my boy Rob. It's got the semi Oh yeah, we see it. Suicide awareness there. That's uh, that's my that's my boy right there. I've known him since uh, early 2000s uh, from some of his old bands, and we've been boys ever since. Talked about doing music together, and uh, you know we we found our ways separately, but we were working on uh, trying to play a show together before uh, he passed. And what's crazy is like. We're friends, but I, I never knew that. I didn't know that at all. And and that's what's cool about music, and it brings us together. But like, set of boys are like, it's it's putting on the show and, and supporting each other. But yet, the homage that they pay, uh, and this is just my personal opinion, the homage that they pay to the, the fallen brother, whether Rob had touched many people, like Harry mm -hmm. knew Rob longer than I ever did. It, it, it's just so weird because it's like the whole seven degrees of separation and it's true. It, it really is, you know, but Harry, um, like how hard was it for you to, um, want to push through all the turbulence that you had with extra members coming out, going in, did you ever really just want to be like, I just want to, I want to join another project. Um, 
Yeah, I, I definitely, I think all of us have gotten uh, really to a dark spot with this band when it, when it, when we were going through all that turbulent stuff. And um, mm-hmm. I, I gotta, I gotta say though, um, the, the two guys right here sitting with me are the, the, the only reason I've stuck it out. Um, every time I feel like, uh, you know, you get down on this band, I got Jeff who drives from fucking Madeira once a week to Sacramento, which is three hours one way. And, Committed. you know, at what right, at what point do you look at yourself and go, how can I even think about, you know, what's going on now? We got one guy who's willing to do that. That That's special. And uh, no one knows how much behind the scenes work Jacob does for this band. Jacob is by, uh, Jacob is the silent leader, whether, whether anyone wants to believe that or not. And I, and I think that is um, what he puts in this band, no one will ever know other than us. 100%. And uh, it is absolutely astonishing to have a band member do as much as he does without even being asked. We but he's a bass that. player, though. But, but uh, yeah, that's what everyone says, right? You know, that's, that's what it's like. Um, Jacob, Jacob do, do you have, uh, uh, I haven't got a chance to ask you a question or two. Do you have a special section of the show where you're able to just like, just do a little quick slap section or, no, or, or solo? Uh, not, a huge, not a huge slap bass guy, but there are some songs uh where i you know you can't even unfortunately with bass it's kind of hard to even hear everything you're doing but uh you know like whispers there's some really technical bass spots <laughs> that uh, <laughs> yeah, are, are really fun to play and and you know pretty technical but uh but especially with us being a four piece now like uh, you know josh and i link up really good together um we're still learning each other a little bit and there's you know that relationship between drummer and bass player has to be uh amazing and uh sure. it's uh it's getting there but it's taking a little you know it's just it, new drummers i've had to adapt now three times and it's just killer on me because every drummer has their own little technique and most drummers are pretty arrogant and uh they don't want to uh you know listen to the bass line they just want the bass player to do what they're doing and josh is actually the opposite he actually here's what I'm playing and uh, we, we kind of blend together. So it's been really, uh, really good. It's been awesome. So Follow- you know, watching them, you would have, I'm sorry, BG, You're good. Uh, watching their first show with uh, Josh. Uh, it, it was that, I, I think that was the missing link and no disrespect to the, the previous uh, drummers. Oh, yeah. but 100%. It, we all feel that way. It, it was like, Boom. I mean, he was so happy and giddy. He's jumping up and I'm like, dude, sit the fuck down and play the drums. He's just so he's, he's such an animated character, but like you could see and you could feel again, being friends with these guys. I I don't look at it as friends. I look at it as a, uh, a fan of music, you know, and watching these guys. And it's funny because we do it to each other. Hey, how did we do? Hey, how did we do? You want to be honest? And then we just fucking annihilate each other. But yet that show, Uh I, the only complaint that I had was when somebody spilt a beer. I don't know who that was, yeah. and I picked yeah. up the power cable. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't unplug, unplug my pedal board because right? I'm about to start playing. But I put the power button back on, and I was like, don't play, don't play. <laughs> Ruin the day show. and save the day simultaneously. Yeah. With, with, the, with Josh, his debut oh, yeah. show. So what had happened was that we were playing. they were playing at Goldfields in Roseville, and I guess I was intoxicated. I, I, I knocked over my beer. And it spilled, so we were trying to clean up the, the stage. And I picked up the, the cable, and it unplugged. And I'm all, and I can hear the uh, sound guy, like, you're going on, like, one minute. And I'm like, oh, shit. I plug it back in. I hit the button. I look at Jeff. I'm all, bro, you have no fucking power. No power. And he's like, uh. I'm like, sorry. And then, luckily, his mic wasn't working, so. He said, yeah, no, no, all, <laughs> all, was, all was remedied in time, but. Yeah, but they called me out. Big spaz. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> I want to do. I want to do like a, a fun, a fun question before we wrap it up. But it, let's say hypothetically we do get this SoCal run, and you guys hop in to to the RV or however you guys get down here. But let's say the RV, and I'm gonna ask Jacob this question. Jacob, so everybody's. Let's just say you guys have a driver, but both bands are in the back. What? And it's a good. It's a good eight to ten hours to get down here. Uh, what is the allowed material that you're allowed to watch TV show wise? Toss out one or two options and then tell me what absolutely will not go down. We're not watching this in the back of the RV, but Jacob must decide these answers. 
Oh, dude, I was <laughs> fun. Before, before he answers, you ask the one guy that doesn't watch a lick of freaking TV. It. Right. This awesome. is awesome. <laughs> to, to, it's and perfect. to be honest with you, I don't care. So any they can play whatever they want in the back because I won't be back there. So it doesn't matter. You'll be in the you'll be in the shotgun seat, making sure everyone's. Oh, no, no, I'll be I'll be driving. Okay, that's, okay. That's what I do. For sure. I'll tell you what Jacob's gonna do, hundred percent. He's gonna get in the driver's seat. He's gonna put his seatbelt on, put it in drive, put his headphones in, and ignore us the whole freaking drive. Yep. Fair. <laughs> At least he gets you there safe, I suppose. But yeah, hundred percent. We'd be watching The Office. That's all I can say. <laughs> the Office works. What is what is one show that is not acceptable? In the in the RV, and Spaz, you can chime in. What is, what is this? This show Jersey is Shore. not going down Jersey on this drive. Shore. Jersey Shore. You can't hate on Jersey Shore. Shit, Shore. Get <laughs> it's gonna be the car. No Snooky. Oh, no Snooky. That's a good one. That's a good uh, one. Nope. Yeah, that's you know, honestly, if, if typically I would drive the RV, but I would actually be watching like fucking Godsmack with their live footage or. Honestly, I'd probably be watching our bands play shows and just be like, oh, we, we got to fix this. We I, I, Actually, we have never used the TV. We didn't even use it on the way to Blue Ridge. It, it was weird. You just, yeah. get, you just get so I, excited and nervous simultaneously for big events no, like but, that, that you're probably brainstorming things, ideas, merch, I, mer, way to, someone's got to walk around and be like, come see our set at this time, like all these little we're things. We're just trying not to get in trouble. Yeah, don't want to get arrested. For sure. <laughs> the leader in that. As a... Hell yeah. Well, oh fellas, I, 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 I very much appreciate you coming on the show yet again. Repent is fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's some of your Thanks. best work. I, I hope we get, uh, you guys down Who here. Who's the producer? Who is the producer on that song? Nick uh, Miller, baby. Nick, Nick Miller, uh, Daddy Nick. Dog. Daddy Nick bear hug Nick. Daddy Nick, Daddy Nick bear. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Tell Nick to have, what do you say? Did, it, did his computer just malfunction or there was a fire? Uh, it actually caught on fire. So his SSD card with the trash can Mac Pro, you can take the shit apart. And it's basically an SSD hard drive, but there was uh, something else that fried in it. And if I'm not mistaken, did did set it? Didn't you guys lose something or did you have to re record? Yeah, the yeah. start of repent we had uh drums and guitar laid down for the most drums for the most part guitar was solid and uh we retracted yeah Dang, that's, gotta happy it. that's gotta suck for nick i imagine he probably had to have like 10 plus artists come back in and and do no, stuff I, which is a lot well, of and they're not going to pay for that because they already did it that's not their fault well like, they had like harry and i talked about that because uh what had happened i have a a macbook and I have a, an Apollo little a four or Apollo quad, and I'm like, hey, let me let me let you borrow this. Keep going, keep going, because he still had our songs to produce. And I, I think that said it had went in after, and he didn't back it up, or something happened. I mean, shit happens, especially in the studio. But it's hard. It you hardly ever hear of it happening on a Mac. And then uh, I let him borrow all my gear. And, I'm like, just make it work, make it work. And then I, I talked to Harry. He's like, dude, we lost this. And I'm like, oh, shit, you were part of the backup that didn't happen. And we took the SSD card and, and me being a computer geek, plugging it into every damn device I own, and I could not recover anything. And it sucked because we had two songs that were done. He has our music, but the mixing, uh, the, the backing, all that stuff wasn't backed up. So said it got hit, we got hit, and I, I, I hope that was it. You know, because right. Nick's a good dude and, you know, he bends over backwards. That's his job. He's a production dude. And he uh, I was happy for set it because, you know, Harry, I haven't seen him my song yet or our song yet, BG, like I did you earlier. But typically Harry hears every song that Nick does. And this is their first song from Nick, if I if I'm not mistaken, through and through. And it, it's awesome. It, it it's next level now, and it's just going to keep going up, 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 up. There's no end to set. It, so. boop, 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 boop. Thank you, buddy. Well, fellas, before we before we send you send you out for the rest of the day, uh, take the time for a second, plug all your channels, uh, promote anything you'd like right now. But uh, as usual, I love you guys, and I appreciate you not only for for supporting local band Smokeout, but just for blessing our ears with oh, thank amazing you. Thank tunes you. for real. Thanks for having us. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Uh, set it band on Facebook. We're set it music on Instagram. Uh, we have a TikTok. I'm working on uh, getting that going again. Um, 
we're not really the TikTok guys, but we're gonna be. <laughs> Jacob's gonna be the star of that. He doesn't oh, know yet. Yeah. Uh, but uh, follow us on everything. We have uh, YouTube, uh, Spotify. Uh, we're on Amazon, Apple Music, Pandora, even. So anything you want to listen to us on, please listen to us. Like, subscribe, follow. It helps us out more than you know. Let's try to break some numbers this year. Let's do it. Show up August nineteenth, baby series. 19th. Check us out. August. Roxy. BG, if you can get us a Friday and Saturday back to back, I will make sure we get down to Southern California. Okay, so I know I know the guy that books at Chain Reaction in Anaheim, and then one of my best friends does all the booking at Whiskey A Go Go. So those would be the two the two spots I would I would target. I'm on it. I'm on it. Because we will we'll make the trip, and I will I know I'll bring a ton of people to Orange County, and and we'll bring a bunch to Whiskey too. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Harry, Jacob, and Jeff of Santa! Yeah, hell yeah! All right, boys, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate uh, you. Thank you, guys. I'll throw this on, I'll throw this on YouTube tomorrow morning. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Love you. Cheers. Harry, check your email. Yes, sir. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band. Smoke out.